Sources from Jada's camp is firing back at Chris Rock after he dissed her in his newest stand-up selective outrage and also Michael Jackson's nephew Todd Jackson thanked Will Smith for slapping Chris Rock and you'll never believe the reason why. Stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Now, Chris Rock recently did his latest comedy special on Netflix called Selective Outrage, and it has a lot of people talking. Chris finally addressed the infamous Oscar slap that happened last year. Now, if you don't remember, which I'm sure you all do, last year at the Oscars, Will Smith went on stage and slapped the piss out of Chris Rock. The reason why he slapped him is because he made a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. He joked about her bald head and said that she should play in the next G.I. Jane movie. Now, we all thought the joke was harmless at first, but we later on found out that Jada has a medical condition called alopecia. So the situation actually wasn't funny to Jada. A lot of us didn't realize that he was poking fun at this woman's medical condition. Not only that, this wasn't the first time that Chris poked fun at Jada. Back at the 2016 Oscars, he took shots at Jada because she boycotted the Oscars for not acknowledging enough people of color. And also she was upset that the Oscars did not acknowledge Will Smith's role in the movie Concussion. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. And Chris Rock also has a history of being passive aggressive and shady to Jada. You don't believe, you're not gonna believe this? Jada Pinkett, you're gonna, you win a bottle of champagne? You know why? Cause you just did an interview without mentioning the name Will Smith. That is terrible. Yes. That is terrible. Yes. 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 Now Chris Rock is a comedian, so he likes to joke and nothing is wrong with that, but oftentimes there is truth behind some of these jokes. And I think for a while, Chris was kind of letting people know how he really felt about Jada. He doesn't really respect her like that. I mean, if we're gonna be honest. So when he made that joke about her at the Oscars last year, it kind of shows that he doesn't really like her like that. So this did anger Will Smith and he went on stage and slapped the mess out of Chris Rock. Another reason why Will Smith slapped the mess out of Chris Rock is because Will Smith was at his breaking point with the jokes. Now, if you don't know, prior to the whole Oscar controversy, Will and Jada's relationship was under a lot of scrutiny. The R&B singer August Alsina dropped the bombshell that he had an affair with Jada and he got his blessing from Will Smith. So when this news broke out, it was a huge conversation piece and it prompted Will and Jada to do damage control. Jada and Will addressed it on her show, Red Table Talk. But of course, this whole episode did not help their public image. I mean, people were making fun of them. There were so many different memes joking on Will Smith and Jada. I mean, it was just a mess and it really kind of ruined the image of Jada and Will's relationship. But even after all of that, Will and Jada still stuck together. However, they could not escape the rumors and the whispers from their peers in Hollywood. I mean, they were a laughing stock in Hollywood. They were a laughing stock on the blogs. They were a laughing stock everywhere. So it was a pretty humiliating thing. And I think Will just reached a breaking point. He was tired of the joking. And when Chris Rock made a joke about his wife, he couldn't hold it in anymore. He just reached his breaking point and he walked on that stage and slapped the piss out of Chris Rock. Now, Chris Rock did address the slap during his standup and he went in on Will and Jada. This is what he said. Will Smith practices selective outrage. I didn't have any entanglements. <laughs> I 
did not have any entanglement. And then for people that don't know what everybody knows, Wilson and his wife was f***ing her son's friend, okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit, but for some reason these n put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that f***ing low down. What the f***? That we all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's d How did that make you feel? She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Everybody in the world called him a b I tried to call the motherfucker and give him my condolence. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody called that man a b Charlemagne called him a b Breakfast Club called him a b And the View and the Talk and every rapper and, and, and the Drink Champs called him a b Everybody called him a b They called his wife a predator. Everybody called him a b This motherfucker, okay? His whatever. Years ago, his wife said, I, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host. She said he should quit because Will didn't get nominated for concussion. So did I do some jokes about it? Who gives a f That's how it is. She started, I finish it, okay? Nobody's picking on this bitch. She started this shit. Because her husband didn't get nominated for concussion. And then this gives me a fucking concussion, okay? <laughs> I have rooted for Will Smith my whole life. I root for this motherfucker, okay? And now I, I watch Emancipation just to see him get whooped. <laughs> Got me rooting for Massa, okay? Now hit him again, Massa! Hit him again! So that was a segment from Chris Rock's stand-up selective outrage. And I will say he had some funny jokes in there. I'm not going to act like I didn't cackle a little bit, but there were some people who were offended and I don't blame people for being offended at some of his jokes. I think Jada in particular was pretty offended as well. And her team sent a statement to people saying this, Jada has had no part in all of this other than being heckled. Chris is obsessed with her and that's been going on for almost 30 years. Look where he chooses to film his Netflix special, her hometown of Baltimore, obsessed. Back in 2016, she helped start a movement with the Academy Awards by questioning why there were so few black members and Chris took it to this. She never asked Chris not to host the Oscars ever. She publicly said in a Facebook post at the time, Chris would be a great Oscars host and is perfect for the job. Now this is actually true. Jada actually supported Chris Rock hosting the Oscars. Hey Chris, I will not be at the Academy Awards and I won't be watching, but I can't think of a better man to do the job at hand this year than you, my friend. Good luck and to the rest of you. So Chris lied in his standup to pretty much villainize Jada and Jada never asked him to turn down his Oscar gig. She boycotted the Oscars because the Oscars was not acknowledging people of color. And she was like, okay, let's put our resources into building our own platforms instead of trying to get validation from the Oscars all the time. And this movement she started did actually prompt the Oscars to become more diverse. So Jada had some influence in that, but that's besides the point. So back to what was said. 
Jada's people basically said that Chris Rock has this weird obsession with her, which is why he's always taking shots at her. And I think there is some truth to it. I think when Chris Rock doesn't like somebody or doesn't respect somebody, he always finds a way to take a petty shot at them in his standup. And that's kind of how I know, okay, he doesn't really like this person. And I don't think he likes Jada. Also, another person he doesn't like is the late, great Michael Jackson. Now, Chris Rock has a history of taking shots at Michael Jackson, especially over the abuse allegations. Even though Michael was found not guilty of those allegations, Chris Rock still never failed to take shots at him whenever he got the chance. And I honestly think that he just doesn't like him. So in his recent standup, he took another shot at him, which was expected. And this is what he said. Everybody, you know what I'm talking about. One person does something, they get canceled. Somebody else does the exact same thing, nothing. You know what I'm talking about. You know, like the kind of people that play Michael Jackson songs, but won't play R. Kelly. <laughs> same crime. One of them just got better songs. Now, Michael's nephew, Taj Jackson, responded to this and said, Chris Rock has used my family as punching bags for his entire career, yet I'm supposed to feel bad for him getting slapped and humiliated on the Oscars after seeing a new clip of him attacking my dead uncle in the first minutes of his retaliation, I'm still relevant special. I have three things to say. What did my family ever do to you to warrant these decades of harassment and your constant bullying disguised as jokes? Two, just because you were bullied early on in life doesn't give you the excuse to bully others now. And three, thank you, Will Smith. <laughs> That was funny. But listen, Chris Rock is a comedian. He's allowed to make jokes, but people are allowed to be upset and offended. It is what it is. If you make jokes about somebody, you can't get mad at the reaction. I mean, this is why Chris Rock got slapped in the first place. <laughs> he made a joke about the wrong person at the wrong time. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.